So before we do predictions in brief this week, um, I want to tackle a subject that has come up quite a lot in um, the comments section uh, of YouTube ever since I started doing the predictions in brief. You all know uh, that probably the most covered at the moment um, mixed martial art event in my predictions in, in brief is Belater. And people are telling me time and time again, that's not how you pronounce it. Um, so I wanted to uh, tell people um, a few things um, about uh, this word, um, its origins, and probably how it's pronounced really. Firstly, um, the word originates from Latin. Latin is a dead language now, which means that not many people speak it, um, and probably uh, those that do don't speak it quite in the same sort of way that um, Romans uh, would have spoken it in the past. Now, um, Belata is uh, derived from the word bellum, um, which in Latin means war. Um, it is, bellum itself is in fact uh, also um, uh, derived from an earlier Latin word um, and that um, was something like uh, uh, duolum or something like that, um, D-E-U-L-L-U-M I think. Um, the origins of that I, I don't know very much but I do know that um, at that point in time uh, it didn't mean war as in fighting war. It meant war as in the suffering of uh, war. So it was to injure or to hurt. Um, and from that came bellum. Now, uh, the, the stress on the word is the um. It's not bellum. It's more, um, it's, it's, it's more pronounced blum. Or at least it, it should be. The E is very, very small. So it's almost B apostrophe L-U-M, blum. Uh, so anyway, um, this, this American uh, show have stolen this word um, and uh, they've made a mistake on uh, three issues, I feel. First, the pronunciation, okay? The pronunciation um, is, is mainly either... Um, uh, B, L, Atta, or B, L, Ator, uh, depending on how you want to um, say it. I don't know which of those is actually correct. What it isn't is Bellator. Um, Bell, that, that, I suppose the closest you to, could get to being right using that would be um, Bellator. Um, uh, it, it, it's interesting, and I think that one of the problems of this has come from the um, uh, the stress on the A. If you look at other um, words, again, like um, uh, gladiator, for example, the, um, the stress again, you've got an A there. Um, and I, I'm not sure that that would really hold up if you were actually a, a Latin speaker. Um, uh, so anyway, and, and the reason for that is because these are suffixes that are added onto the ends of words that exist in their own right. They're almost not really words. Um, they are, but they're not words in their own right. Um, they are applying the meaning of, the pragmatical meaning of the main word to something specific. So um, uh, gladius, for example, is um, what puts the, <laughs> the gladi bit um, into the gladiator. And that is a sword. So um, a gladiator is basically somebody who is wielding the sword. Um, but the emphasis is on uh, the, the front bit. The after bit is the, is the suffix that is added to it. Um, now it's interesting because they have used the word um, belata in terms of um, somebody who has um, uh, uh, um, 
who, who a fights a war, and b if if their a use of the Roman um, helmet is anything to go by, they're alluding it to um, somebody in the military now. Um, it's funny because the, the Romans had a whole list um, of words that meant almost the same thing but were applied to, to different types, if you like. So, for example, um, they had a word for somebody who was um, a military fighter. They also had a word for somebody who was almost um, a, a, a fighter of wars but were outside of the military. Um, so a sort of a militia, if you like. Um, they had w they had words for um, uh, uh, um, for a fighter who was uh, who would say be hand to hand combat outside of war. Um, they had names for a fighter who would fight with weapons um, as a sport. So they had all those different things, and to match the word uh, bellator with um, or belator with um, uh, the helmet is wrong anyway uh, because um, that, that's, that's, that's just, they're, they're two different things that they've tried to make this one word mean something else. It's interesting because the word um, that strictly means fighter in terms of um, any sort of fighting um, outside of the... Um, the actual military battle style uh, fighting is pugnator and or the pugnator depending on how you want to say it i suppose and that derives from the actual word to fight uh, pugna or pugnum i suppose uh, and um, that uh, is not quite as impressive is it as as the other one so um, it's interesting because now I've been I've been thinking about it this so um, and it's gone over my head so much I cannot remember now um, <laughs> exactly how you're supposed to pronounce anything. Uh, so anyway, um, I shall now go on to do what I was going to do in the first place, and that was to look at Belata uh, sixty four, and this is happening Friday, April the sixth. Uh, at Caesars Windsor, and that's our, in Ontario, uh, Canada. And they only seem to put up the televised bounce, which can't be all of them, but there we are. The welterweight world championship is going on between Ben Askren and Doug Douglas Lima. I like both of these, um, but I'm going to go uh, for Douglas Lima on this. Not only is his record better, well... Ben Askren hasn't been beaten, according to this perfect nine. Um, Douglas Lima was, probably still is, a sucker punch fighter, so I'm going to go for him on that. Um, Alexandra Bezira and Marlon Sandro. Uh, I'm going for Marlon Sandro on that. Um, and that, uh, But that is a featherweight semi-final, uh, that one. Now, this one, which is at bantamweight quarterfinals, and yet... Uh, Oh yes, there we are. Um, right, we've got Travis Mark and Matt Masu somebody or other. Um, I don't know either of them. Uh, and Rodrigo Lima and Hiroshi uh, Nakamura. I'm not sure whether I know them or not. Um, Lima there only has uh, has a perfect record of ten. Um, I have to say I'm not very. No, I don't think I know any of those. I'm still getting used to myself. Um, the very small uh, fighters. <laughs> there we are. Um, I'm sorry this has been quite so long, but I did feel the need to address that um, because it's come up several times. So uh, for people who want to comment on the fact that I call this Belata, um, don't, because I'm probably closer to the correct pronunciation than you are. Oh,